Hi, I'm Garvin. This telecast is on calcitu. So calcitu is calcium carbonate, a calcium supplement. Calcitu is a naturally occurring substance which is important for healthy, strong bones. Our bodies usually get sufficient calcium from what we eat. Good sources of calcium in food are milk, hard cheese such as cheddar or edam, yogurt, bread, calcium fortified soy milk and some vegetables such as spinach and watercress. Sometimes though our bodies need more calcium than normal, for example in childhood and during pregnancy or whilst breastfeeding. Also, as we get older, our bodies may not absorb as much calcium as they once did. When there is not enough calcium in our diet for our body's needs, then a calcium supplement may be useful. So how do you take it? If you are prescribed calcium by a doctor, you will be told how many tablets to take each day and when to take them. If you have purchased the tablets from a pharmacy, read the label on the preparation carefully to find out how to take them. Some tablets should be swallowed whole without being chewed. Other tablets must be chewed before being swallowed and some need to be dissolved in water. So calcium supplements can interfere with the way your body absorbs other medicines. So you may, may need to take these at different times of, to your calcium. So please ask your pharmacist for further advice. If you forget to take a dose, don't worry. Just leave out the missed dose and take the next dose when it is due. Do not take two doses together to make up for an earlier forgotten dose. Getting the most from your treatment. If you are due to have an operation or any dental treatment, tell the person carrying out the treatment which medicines you are taking. If you buy any medicines, check with your pharmacist that they are suitable to take with a calcium supplement. So the main side effects of taking calcium would be upset stomach. And for pregnancy and breastfeeding, calcium can be used in calcium deficiency during pregnancy and whilst breastfeeding. But calcium intake, including that from a diet, should not exceed 1,500 milligrams a day. Significant amount of calcium are secreted in milk during lactation. And with alcohol, there is no known interaction between calcium and alcohol. And for interactions, in particular, the following medicines may interact with calcium tablets. Diuretics, which are water tablets. Your calcium levels should be monitored regularly if you're on diuretics. And heart medicines, cardiac glycos glycosides, you should be monitored by electrocardiogram and your serum calcium levels measured. And with corticosteroids, for example, prednisolone or dexamethasone, your dose of calcium may need to be increased. And tetralysal antibiotics, these should be taken at least two hours before or four to six hours after taking a calcium supplement. And fluoride or biphosphonates, calcium should be taken at least three hours after biphosphonates. So if you have any questions, you can contact me through the live pharmacist on the website. You can email me or call into Lynch's Pharmacy in Cork. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.